Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard to Standos at your service. Today I'll be reading the December 17th daily inspirational message, the condensed version. It's two paragraphs long, then I'll center myself, say a little prayer, and then make a couple comments on the message. And if the message is of use to you, please be so kind as to like, comment, or share, or even join us as a subscriber. Thank you for that. Here we go. The title, Appreciation as our reply to reality. Paragraph one. What would you not be grateful for when you recall that the creator of the universe, being love, always has your best interest in mind? Everything that comes from God, from truth, all, love, is helpful. Everything and everyone is here to assist us in one form or another to grow, heal, and awaken. Everything that does not come from love could never be real or true. The ego forms countless illusionary responses that try to take away our peace of mind and joy. They do not get stressed, for if the ego is itself an illusion, then all its energetic forms and expressions are equally illusionary in nature. Thus, the only conscious response to reality is appreciation. If gratitude is not your response to every person, place, or thing, then know that you are truly not understanding its meaning and value in your life. Paragraph two. Today, let us practice becoming more aware and appreciative of the gifts that are being offered to us within the now. Every breath we take is a gift from God to us. Every moment we are here is a gift from us to this world. Every experience we have is a gift from this world to us. Today, align with your true loving nature and each moment offer only the love that you are. Forgive your past and place the future fully in God's hands. When you do, you return to the present moment. When you experience each moment as the gift that it is, gratitude will become your response to it and to all those in it. When gratitude becomes your go-to response to the now, then know that you're seeing this world as God created it for you to experience and enjoy. Today, remember the sacred truth and feel free to enjoy each blessing along the way. All right. Appreciation as a reply to reality. Okay. I'm going to make uh, five points that I hope that will be useful for you uh, in today's inspirational message. First, today we practice responding with gratitude to everyone, to every situation and every interaction. Imagine waking up and deciding to make gratitude your constant companion throughout the day. What would such a day look and feel like? If gratitude was your primary response to everyone, everything and all. All we have to do is remember how much time we have dedicated to judging self or others, to anger, to resentment, even hate, anxiousness, fear, doubt, worry. How much time have we unconsciously dedicated to those emotions, to all those tools of the ego's mindset? And so today we do not do that. Place them aside for now and instead make the conscious choice in point number one to make gratitude your constant companion, your response to everything, everyone, and all. That's point number one. Point number two is to remember that when we are using gratitude, gratitude is an expression of the love that God is. And so whenever you're aligning with gratitude as your response to any situation, you're in essence saying, God, I trust you. I trust in the divine design. I trust that this moment, however my mind has been programmed to de define it, is going to be used for my good, to help me grow, heal, and awaken. And so my response today is gratitude. And then point number two is telling the universe that I'm, tr I'm trusting in the divine design, I'm trusting in God. And what happens when you do that? What happens when you begin to trust God in every moment? 
in every situation, in every interaction, peace results. And so know that the more you trust God, the more peace you experience. If you're not experiencing peace, then know you're, that you're not fully trusting in the source, in our source, in our all-loving source. And so that is point number two, is showing you that you're basically saying, I trust you, God, when you make gratitude your primary response. And point number three, because gratitude, it's an expression of love. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to be that loving person in our own unique ways. And what is love? Love is light. Love is compassion. Love is forgiveness. Love is kindness and charity and joy and peace. All that is love. All those are expressions of love. And so when we're responding to each and every moment with gratitude, we are aligning with the light within us. And the more we do so in each and every situation, the brighter our light becomes. And this way we help show others that there just might be another way to look at their situation. If they see us responding with instead of judgment, with gratitude, instead of fear, gratitude, <laughs> instead of resentment, gratitude, what if that's our response? We just help our brothers who are stuck in the dark, stuck, stuck in the stories of the ego's mindset, and the fear-based, judgment-centered mindset, that there just might be another way to look at the situation. And so when, we're at, when we offer gratitude to each and every moment, each and every interaction, we're fulfilling our mission as the light of the world. And so we will feel fulfilled. And so if you're feeling fulfilled, know that it's because you're aligned with it loving nature and in this instant it it applies itself as gratitude okay that's point number three uh, point number four <clears throat> is in every situation or interaction that we have with another brother or sister and they respond to that situation in a less than loving manner we don't uh, judge them for that we instead what do we do <laughs> we reply with gratitude and why do we do that? Uh, because they're showing us what we do not want. They're showing us how we do not want to reply because we've all replied with that self-judgment, with a judgment of self or others, with that anger, with that frustration, with that resentment. We've all done that before. And it never takes us to our true destination, which is the state of peace. And so all our, our brothers and sisters are doing is helping us see how we do not want to react when they're acting in an unloving and reacting in an unloving manner. And so thank you for that. Thank you for helping me see what I do not want. Thank you for helping me see the, role, the roads I no longer need to travel. Thank you. That's last point number four. And the last point is this. Today, especially today, because we're consciously choosing to appreciate each and every moment, if we're not responding to the moment, to the interaction with gratitude, then we're, we are somewhere we do not belong. We're in a state of mind we do not belong. And so any state of mind that brings up in you a response to something other than gratitude, thank it. Because it's showing you that your mind is currently controlled by the your past programs by the ego's mindset. And that's not where you belong today. You belong aligned with source, aligned with love and light and gratitude and peace. And so thank you for showing me that my mind was somewhere where it did not belong. Now, I, recognizing that, I just bring it back, bring it back to gratitude and align with that sense and response of gratitude. And what I do, again, I feel like I'm doing what I'm, meant, what I'm meant to be doing today, to offer gratitude to everyone I know. Because uh, in reality, having co-created our life with perfection, each and every moment in some way, shape or form is here to help us grow, heal and awaken. And when we, when we recall that, what else but gratitude would be, your proper, would be the proper response to the knowledge that an all-knowing, all-loving God has your back and has designed your journey specifically for you 
to help um, you remember that you are the light that he created us to be. And so let us offer our source our gratitude today for that. And thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your time. I love you very much. If you can be so kind of to like, comment, or share, it will help with the listening process, and it might help somebody be a little more grateful today <clears throat> and include uh, that sense of grat gratitude uh, in their daily experience more and more and to help them align them with who they truly are. Thank you for that. Uh, if you made it this far, I love you very much, and God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow. Peace.